Okay, this isn't going to be a WrestleMania preview, but uh, there's actually one match that I'm uh, looking forward to. It's uh, Randy Orton versus the long-forgotten Edge, who made his uh, triumphant return at the Royal Rumble. And, uh, yeah, so we're getting Randy Orton and Edge once again. And, um, you know, I, I can't say that I'm dying to see the actual match, but uh, I'm enjoying the build-up so far. I feel like, for some reason, Edge really gets the best out of Randy Orton. I, I love their feud back in 2004. You know, some might even say it got off to an awkward start. If you guys remember the 2004 pay-per-view rewind, I kind of made fun of Edge in, the, in that first promo. He cut with Randy Orton. But... I mean, when you, I love that promo, and I always find myself like reenacting it. It's because it had so much like emotion to it. I mean, it, you could argue that it felt forced, but but one thing you can't argue is that the the feud had tremendous energy behind it. I I, I especially back in two thousand four, and and for some reason it's just uh, I would just definitely say that that Edge really brings the best out of Randy Orton. I don't know why. But when you look back at Orton's career, I feel like this has been his best feud. It's been his best opponent. And it's kind of like, you know, it, like the WWE was kind of illustrating to the fans, like when Orton and Edge were finally in the ring together, like, oh, wow, it's the return of uh, uh, rated RKO in the same ring at the same time. But, you know, t to me, when I look back on it, maybe I'm wrong about this, but, you know, I was a huge fan back in 2006 going into 2007 I, I don't remember rated rko being a big deal i really don't to me there's two reasons why they kind of did it they they did it because dx needed an opponent Shawn michaels and triple h at the time and the other the other reason i remember was that orton was kind of losing focus he was having behavior problems and they felt like you know throwing randy orton with edge you know it'd be edge would kind of be like a um kind of a babysitter to a degree so Orton didn't really get in trouble those are the only reasons why but I don't remember rated RKO being like this massively over tag team where they sold a lot of merchandise to me you know what I remember when I think of Randy Orton versus Edge is the Intercontinental Championship feud in 2004 I mean the promos between them were just uh they they had a lot of emotion behind it and a lot of it had to do with Edge I I thought I thought kind of I know Edge denied this you know, they, they, someone actually asked him, like, do you have a problem with Randy Orton winning the championship so soon? And Edge was like, I don't have a problem with it. But, like, you could just tell there was, like, a lot of tension there with Orton's push with, with Edge. Because, you know, because Edge had been with the company for a while. His babyface turn wasn't really working out well. Like I said, you know, some of those promos were, were, were really forced. But, but, you know, when you look back on it, even though they were a little bit corny, the one thing you can't deny was that Edge had, like, tremendous emotion. And we finally got that emotion, like, out of Randy Orton for the first time in, you know, over a decade. I haven't seen Randy Orton cut the promo of that degree since maybe at least 2004. I, th I thought Orton in 2004, when he was the legend killer, when he was the IC champion, when he was with Evolution, I thought the guy was incredible on the mic, in the ring, all around. I thought Orton was a great performer. But for some reason, he's lost... Um, you know, I, I, I just feel like he's been sleeping for the last couple of years. I've, I've even kind of went back and forth. You know, I, I just, you know, maybe Orton's just been doing this for the money. Because, you know, ever, like ever, ever since he's been like a legit main eventer, he's just slacked. Like so, something isn't right. But finally, God, that promo was so good that it, it was it was a heel promo. But the delivery and the execution and the hunger was so good that you see the, the fans were giving it a standing ovation. And this, this, uh, you know, the, the, the whole feud has been, it's been pretty creative. I mean, it, it has a good real life twist to it. And it'll be interesting to see if Orton really comes out of his shell and kind of admits to, you know, pro wrestling really taking a toll on his, you know, his overall uh, lifestyle behavior. You know, or or, or 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 maybe Orton will come out and finally admit why he's kind of, you know, you know what why he's been like holding back all these years because of what happened to maybe it's because of what happened to Edge. Like that'd be a really cool twist. 
But Orton's explanation and reasoning, it's kind of a baby face like reason. Like the reason I put Edge away was to keep him away, to keep him away from all this 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 chaos, from the this cesspool that's professional wrestling. I did it to keep keep him away because, you know, when Edge finally, you know, healed up from this these injuries, like I've never seen him happier. So Wow. This has just been um you know, the resurrection of Randy Orton. Like, we, we we just have not seen this type of hunger from Orton. And and I'm happy for Edge, man. I, I don't know what exactly happened. I, I don't know how much time Edge has left. I don't know if he found a miracle doctor that, uh you know, you know, fused his neck to the point where he doesn't have to worry about it deteriorating again. But uh Edge looks uh, extremely happy, extremely excited, extremely motivated. Like he said, this is a chance for him to, you know, finish things on his terms. And, you know, uh, you know, the Edge and Randy Orton, it's it's not like the mega blockbuster dream match that that you would expect the WWE to just cash into. They they really they went with a few that had a good story to it and um this had a lot behind it. Edge and Orton never really had a chance to wrestle for the championship at a major pay-per-view or, or had a chance to wrestle uh, on a major stage as main eventers. You know, they were pretty much mid-carters at the time uh, when they were feuding in 2004. Their the feud in 2004 produced a lot of great wrestling matches. I actually had the Vengeance 2004 match on the top 10 uh, most underrated WWE matches video I did, you know, about maybe five years ago. So, so they definitely had great chemistry in the ring. Um, Edge really gets a lot of emotion out of Randy Orton, and l like I said, you know, b back in 2004, you know, I, I Edge Edge had such a chip on his shoulder, like like that. That's the last time I remember like a guy like really wanted it to the point where he just didn't care. Like he would do anything, just say anything, even if he came off, you know, e even a little bit corny in some of those promos. But yeah, man, I just want to say um, I'm really enjoying the build up so far with Edge and Orton. Um, you know, you really haven't seen Edge since he's been taken down, but it definitely looks like they're going in that direction. Um, you know, with, without a doubt, the resurrection of Randy Orton. I mean, it, 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 it's just come off, like, to a lot of, I think, WWE fans, a, a lot of smarky fans. And, and, and you know, I, I've always contemplated doing a video like, has Randy Orton's career been somewhat disappointing? You know, it, what is he, like a 13-time world champion? Well, how could a 13-time world champion have a disappointing career? I, I I just feel like when Orton won the title, youngest champion ever, I don't know. I, I just expected a lot more out of him. Uh, from a Mike skill standpoint, he's been under, underwhelming. When you look at the main event WrestleMania matches that he's had, it's, it's been somewhat underwhelming. Um, you know, but maybe he's really needed that opponent, you know, to really push him. And, you know, maybe this whole thing with Orton being disappointing and Orton not living up to expectations, maybe it's, it was done on purpose because of, you know, what happened to guys like Edge, what happened to guys like Benoit. So it'll be interesting to see if Orton really comes clean and admits that to the fans. And that would be really cool if he does. That will really give this a nice uh, real-life twist to get us all excited. But, you know, other than Edge and Randy Orton, I have to say that the WrestleMania card so far is pretty laughable. Uh, the Drew McIntyre winning the Royal Rumble thing, uh, that's a positive. I, I, I'm not going to say I'm excited to see Drew McIntyre versus Brock Lesnar, but uh, I, I would say that I admire the fact that WWE's taking the chance on someone new. And you just, um, it's remarkable the transformation that McIntyre has went through when you look at him to where he was before he left the WWE, went to the Indies. In a, and they came back. It's a it's a beautiful transformation. You know, Eddie Guerrero did the same thing. So you think of guys like that. So that's really cool. You know, McIntyre and Lesnar is a hell of a matchup. Uh, the problem is with Brock. You just don't you don't know what to expect with his age and with so many lackluster performances. You just don't know what to expect, and that's what kind of sucks about that match, to a degree. Uh, you know, the, the, it's just laughable. You know, having putting Bray Wyatt. And, uh, you know, Billy Boy, uh, Goldberg returning for a uh, WrestleMania main event. Uh, yeah, it, it's kind of discouraging. It's, it's kind of deflating. And um, as of right now, I, I don't think I'm going to order the pay-per-view. I don't think I'm going to subscribe to the network unless something really, really changes. Um, I love to see Orton and Edge, but besides that... Just not feeling it. Kind of disappointed in Cena, too. Like, I've, if Cena's actually going to wrestle at this WrestleMania, I, couldn't he have fought 
for a better WrestleMania opponent. This just seems to me like WrestleMania 20 with The Rock, like they're kind of forcing him what to do. I I feel like if Cena, Cena has enough control um, or an, enough power to, to you know, kind of say, hey, listen, I think my fans want to see me face this guy, this guy. I mean, uh, you know, Cena at WrestleMania against Bray Wyatt, it's very... Um, I don't know. I'm just just not feeling it. But hey, at least Bray Wyatt's not in the championship match. But you know, you get a you know you get a substitute him for Goldberg. That's like substituting shit for crap. So it's like, um, you know, it's uh, I I don't know, guys. Uh, I'm just I'm just not feeling it. As far as CM Punk returning, you know, why would he want to return when when you're giving WrestleMania main events away to? Uh, you know, guys that that don't even like uh, wrestling. So it just it just makes no sense at all. Uh, I'm trying to think of some other matches on the card. I can't. I, I think that's that's pretty much the major matches right now. You know, Kevin Owens and uh, and, and Seth Rollins is another one. But with that match right there, right there, how, how do you know they're not going to give that to Jericho Owens treatment where they put a second match on the show? And you know, I I just think it's a pretty laughable uh, WrestleMania card. I, I'm not a big fan of. Uh, you know, the WWE selling the fact like you'll get the wrestling from NXT and the spectacle matches will be at WrestleMania. That's not what I want to see as a fan. I want to see the best wrestlers wrestle at WrestleMania in front of a crowd. That's what I want to see. But, um, you know, Edge versus Randy Orton. Orton, awesome, awesome promo. That's the Randy Orton that we've been waiting for since 2004. I don't think we've ever gotten it like once since 2004 where you could argue that Randy Orton was the MVP in the midst of the Benoit Guerrero uh fantasy year but uh yeah that's pretty much it guys just wanted to give you my thoughts want to give a shout out to Edge I hope his return comes back it's really cool that Edge gets his second chance you can see he's really made the most of it yeah he looks great he looks in the best shape of his life so that's pretty much it guys hope you enjoyed the video and I'm out all right